Hi guys, you're here with none of it for Blender and this one we're gonna talk about the new cloth modifier from Hardops. Um, Josh dropped an interesting video yesterday on it. I want to show you some different example and different usage of it. So um, we're gonna turn the cavity on and we go into uh, create some kind of a cargo padding. So let's say that you had um, Let's say that you had, um, you know, I don't know, a corner, uh, let's say somewhere here, right? Corner, this corner, uh, was a corner of a, of a cargo and you wanted to introduce some padding to it, okay? So what we can do is um, go with an angon and we can cut it uh, this way here like that and we will be slicing this with a knife, okay? So like that. And then we're going to uh, bevel this one and we're going to run a loop here and loop here. And we're going to select this piece, right? And we're going to insert it inside. So uh, EM macro and drop it inside, okay? If the scaling gives you issue, just simply apply scale, you're going to be fine. So, uh, but you should be fine after a boolean. Just drop it inside a little bit, yeah, like that, okay? Cool. Okay, now with this piece here, what we're gonna do is select it, and we're going to shift click on curve extract and make it a little bit thicker, okay? So there's uh, some thickness to it. We're gonna grab this, right? And we're gonna uh, apply this to, to the geo. We're gonna go to brush, okay? So operations and brush, right click, and then Control click on voxelize and we're gonna set the voxelization pretty dense like this and then simply voxelize the whole mesh, right? So now it's pretty dense and we're going to um, um, draw it, uh, draw on it with a cloth brush. So select clo cloth brush and simply, you know, uh, create some kind of a cool shape with it like this, you know, just drag randomly on different sides and create kind of like a droopy, droopy cloth effect uh, on the on the edges. It would be better to do it with you know not with a mouse but with a brush. But uh, I can't be bothered to turn on my uh, tablet, so I'm gonna do it with a mouse. Quick work. Once you're happy, just. Um, um, you can click on brush again and you're gonna go back to solid mode or alternately what you can do is uh, you could simply go to um, with machine tools click here and go into solid mode and now we get something like this of course we need to subdivide it so control 3 or something like this all right it's clipping a bit here so what we could do is grab this and put it inside I mean sort of you know shrink it a bit more yeah so in macro and just shrink it a bit more and you're gonna be fine there you go and you can introduce some really cool you know padding effect to your uh, to your design uh, wherever you wish let's just introduce some bevels to it and there you go it's kind of like a corner of a wall or something looks pretty badass so that's it guys uh, thanks for watching catch you next video and uh if you would like to buy hard ups or box cutter or other add-ons that i'm using you can always uh, look in the video description, there are links to uh, all kinds of stores with different add-ons that I'm using and I recommend. So have a look and thanks for watching, catch you next video.